this is the assembled balloon with all accessories. Now the entire rubber balloon set is ready for hydro testing. For hydro testing, these end flanges to be replaced, this side and this side end flanges to be replaced by blind flange. Then we provide water from this side at a pressure of 1.5 times of design pressure. And during that hydro testing, there should not be any leakage through any surface of the bellow. During this hydro testing, all tie rod nuts are kept tight from inside and outside. Then we have to see whether any leakage is there through any part of the bellow. If there is no leakage from any part of the bellow, then it is okay. Now, since the bellow allowable axial extension is 15 millimeter, so we lose this tie rod knot by 15 millimeter this side and 15 millimeter this side also, like this. Then we again pressurize the bellow to the hydro test pressure so that bellow will expand by 15 millimeter like this and in that condition there should not be any leakage from any part of the bellow. Since this bellow can take 15 millimeter of axial compression so we lose this inside tie rod nut by 15 millimeter then Compress the bellow by 15 millimeter this side, like this. And compress by 15 millimeter and compress by 15 millimeter from this side also, like this. So we compress the bellow by 15 millimeter this side and 15 millimeter this side also. We compress it then tight this nut so that this will come here. Now the bellow has been compressed by 15 millimeter and tie rod nuts kept tight after compressing it by 15 millimeter. Then we provide hydro test pressure at 1.5 times of design pressure. And in this compressed condition, we have to see whether there is any leakage through any surface of the rubber bellow or not. So we should do hydro testing for three conditions. One is at nominal face to face condition after tightening these tie rod nuts. That is number one condition and number two condition is by extending the bellow 15 millimeter because bellow axial expansion is 15 millimeter then tightening the tie rod number three testing is compressing the bellow by 15 millimeter then tightening all the tie rods in these three conditions bellow should be hydro tested at a pressure of 1.5 times of design pressure and in these three hydro test conditions if bellow is found there is no leakage then it is okay. Now you can see how a rubber bellow is being hydro tested at nominal face to face dimension using tie rod nuts tight. This is hydro testing of another bellow using tie rod nut and lock nut tight. Pressure above 25 kg per centimeter square.
almost no visible leakage. This is hydro testing of another bellow. Now the velo is being hydro tested after losing tyrod nuts by 15 mm because allowable axial extension of the velo is 15 mm. This is hydro testing of another velo after losing tyrod nuts by 15 mm. After completion of hydro testing, this bellow is tested in load testing machine by compressing 15 mm axially like this, like this and load is observed how much load is required to compress it by 15 mm. Then since the bellow axial extension is 15 mm in load testing machine this bellow is extended by 15 mm and what force how much force is required for extending 15 mm that load is observed and this load testing machine test is done for compression and for extension in non pressurized condition then this is fsa standard means fluid sealing association standard this standard has specified size wise bellow spring rate in this fsa standard spring rate for axial compression spring rate for axial extension is specified like this say for 4 inch for axial compression spring rate is 111 newton per millimeter and for axial extension spring rate is 145 newton per millimeter so after load testing we can derive the actual spring rate of the bellow and that spring rate should be closer to this specified spring rate now you can see how a rubber bellow is stretched axially by 15 mm using load testing machine to derive spring rate of the bellow in axial extension. Now another rubber bellow is being stretched axially by 15 mm using load testing machine to derive spring rate of the bellow in axial extension. In similar way you can see how a rubber bellow is compressed axially by 15 mm using load testing machine to derive spring rate of the bellow in axial compression. Now another bellow is being compressed axially using load testing machine. This testing is done inside a protected area to prevent any accident if the bellow comes out during compression.